Psalms 101-2 I will behave wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. This verse can be likened to making an oath and declaring it to yourself. There are three things in it. The first is which way forward the journey will be. It means behavior or lifestyle. Many people see power as an opportunity to pursue their own selfish interest, to be mean and oppress others. But the right thing is to use God's will to put it into practice in your own life and to prepare the conditions for the good of others. It is not so easy to end situations, but God will be with those who pay the price and will help them. The second is a question to God. When will you come to me? This is not being asked without knowing that God is still with us. But here it is a hope for a special visit from God. It is asked when he will come with a special purpose, just as he visited Abraham, just as he visited Israel in Egypt. If the visitation of the divine results in judgment where there is injustice, then the visitation will result in blessings because of the focus on the innocent way. If God who visited Abraham promised a son the next year, the visitation of Sodom and Gomorrah caused judgment on the generation. I will walk within my house with a perfect heart is not a pretension in front of other people, but it shows even in our own home, his life will be perfect. God hates hypocrites. If our personal life is pleasing to God, we need not act outside. If the life is always pleasing to God, we can walk confidently in front of people. Think about what our lives are like inside our homes where we have the most freedom. May God bless you.